it could have been the biggest comeback in NCAA tournament history. But the Bears couldn't quite get there. It was a 13-point North Carolina lead at halftime, blew to as many as 25 in the second half. Before, with less than 10 minutes to go, the Bears came storming back to force overtime, where they would end up losing 93-86. to You get down 25, it's easy to fold. These guys don't. Uh, it's a joy to coach them each and every day, and we might be losers on the scoreboard today. Give North Carolina a lot of credit. Coach Davis is a great coach, does a lot of good things, and uh, they got some great players and great program, but uh, uh, really proud of these guys and how they represent Baylor University. Baylor had a 4-0 lead early, their only lead of the game. North Carolina then went on a 24-6 run, giving them all the momentum. The Bears shot 2 for 10 from 3, while the Tar Heels shot 6 for 13. The halftime score was 42 to 29. And I didn't know that that was one of the biggest comebacks in March Madness history, but uh, that just kind of shows like what we've been dealing with all year. We've had a ton of adversity. We've had three guys with um, big injuries, and um, I mean this team fights, so I would definitely be proud to go out with that. North Carolina seemed poised to run away with it before leading score at the time. Brady Manick got ejected on a flagrant foul call, which spurred a late Baylor comeback, which saw them go on a 37-13 run over the last 10 minutes of the game. Quite a few of those coming from free throws. The guard duo of James Akinjo and Adam Flagler scored 36 of Baylor's 51 second-half points. Flagler with 21 and Akinjo with 15. With 16 seconds left, Akinjo drove to the basket and got the and one, sending the game to overtime which was pretty much all North Carolina as the Bears shot 1 for 11. When North Carolina shot 3 for 6, which sealed the game. I think in, in overtime it's more to be thankful for just the season we had and thank them for um, the time together we've had, the ability they've let us to uh, coach them and learn from them like they've learned from us, hopefully. And, uh, Baylor, it's always bigger than uh, uh, just basketball. I mean, we prepare champions for life. It was a valiant attempt from our Bears, but in the end, they just fell short, and it was ultimately a great season. For Lariat TV News in Fort Worth, I'm Braden Murray.